everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to try out fake tan for the first time ever. I have naturally very pale skin and it's something I'm really self-conscious about so I've wanted to try fake tanning for quite a long time um, but always been nervous that I'll end up orange or streaky so kind of just put off doing it. I also don't really tan naturally, um, even when I have got a tan I still look really pale so yeah that's why i really want to try fake tan so obviously there are loads of fake tan brands out there but i've really wanted to try filter by molly may for a really long time my sister was actually kind enough to give me this for christmas and she also gave me the big mitt and the mini mitts so that was a really generous present i love the way these are packaged too you can like put them back in these nice packages to keep them when you're not using them. So that's really, really nice. So yeah, that's the tan that I'm gonna be trying out today. Obviously it's my first time, so I've got nothing to compare it to, but I will give my opinions. I've done a bit of research on fake tan routines and how to get like the best results from it. So I'm obviously going to get in the shower and first step will be to exfoliate. I've been using this Bondi Sands exfoliating mix with the Scub of Your Life from Soap and Glory. Um, I've been using this for a few weeks, like once a week or so, um, just to start trying to get off some of the dead skin and stuff. So hopefully the skin will be in better condition and um, it will give a better result. So I'll use those for exfoliating. And then the next step is to shave. So the razor that I've been using recently is the Estrid razor. I saw so much about it on Instagram and YouTube and everyone was raving about it. So I decided that I had to try it and it's amazing. <laughs> it's such a smooth shave. It literally is a game changer with shaving. I've always been someone who will put off shaving until it really has to be done. But actually this, it makes it quite enjoyable because it's just so smooth. I haven't cut myself with it once and it's amazing. With normal razors, I end up having to go over each leg like twice instead of just once, but this one, I can just get it all in one go. And I also bought their body oil wash but I've actually been using it to shave with because until this I've been using shampoo to shave with it's just nice to have a separate product for shaving with and then once I'm done in the shower I will get out and moisturize with another rested product this smells insane Evan loves it too it smells absolutely gorgeous you can't smell it at all when it's in the tube but when it's out it's oh. So once I've moisturised, I will then be able to apply the tan. Evan will obviously help me because I can't tan my own back. So with filter, you can actually get three different shades. There's medium, dark and extra dark. So because it's my first time fake tanning and I'm really pale anyway, we thought it'd be best to start with the medium shade. So that's the one I've got. So I didn't really want to go from super pale to extra dark because I think that might be a bit of a shock so yeah we'll um try the medium see how it goes and see what i think of the shade on me so yeah that's it let's get on with it best glow shape well and apply a generous amount directly to desired area. For best results use our filter by Molly May velvet tanning mitt. Use circular motions until fully absorbed and use sparingly on knees, ankles and elbows. Once it's applied, wait 10 minutes after applying product before getting dressed and then allow 4 to 10 hours for it to fully develop. So that's why I'm putting it on in the evening so it can then develop overnight and then I can wash it off in the morning. So let's get started. Smell 
sounds really nice though. I really don't know how much to use, I don't want to go in with too much. So the tan's on. I think my face already looks different, but yeah, we'll see in the morning. Once the tan was on, I let it dry for about 10 minutes before putting any clothes on. And I've gone for a long sleeve top and trousers, just in case any of the tan was to transfer to bedding. I'm hoping it won't because I've let it dry. Um, so I'm thinking once it's dry, it stays on the skin until you wash it off in the morning. So I'll see if I get any transfer onto the clothing that I'm wearing and update you on that in the morning. In the end, Evan basically ended up doing all the tanning for me because I wasn't using enough tan. I was too scared of using too much, <laughs> but Evan just kind of went all in. <laughs> so there he is. Here's my tanning buddy. <laughs> yeah, she didn't put very much on. So instead like her front, it just looked like a Same. bit grubby. Not actually like tan, so when I did her back. Had a brown back and a white front. It like, needs some more tan. <laughs> so now we're just gonna get ready for bed and then um when I get up in the morning I will have a shower before getting dressed. And then see how tan you are. Yeah, and then we'll see the final result. So good night, see you in the morning. Good morning. Um, as you can kind of tell, the tan has developed a lot overnight. Um, I'm looking quite dark. Um, so I've just woken up. Um, I need to jump in the shower and wash off the tan now that it's fully developed. Um, and then we'll see the final result. I'm not used to not looking really pale. <laughs> we have a white strip on my calf, orange patch on my knee slash thigh. And my knee's really white still, and my wrist is really orange. So, at the moment, it looks like I need to get better at the, like, distribution of the tan. Because that's kind of crazy. And then on my other leg, it's also patchy. <laughs> so that's fun. Oh, that's really patchy. <laughs> oh, wow. So I'm now showered and ready for the day and a lot of the tan definitely came off in the shower but I still look a lot darker than I normally do so I'm happy with that. Some of the bits that were a bit patchy have faded a bit in the shower so they're not as noticeable um, but they're definitely still there but I'll show you my feet because they're definitely the worst. We definitely could get better at the distribution of the tan and like trying to get an even layer everywhere um so I guess that's something to try and work on next time but it is really difficult to make sure that you've covered everything because it doesn't show up as much um when you're doing the tan as it does the next morning when it's developed so it's really difficult to know if you've actually got everything and if you've got everything evenly so overall I'm really happy with the result I think Having my face slightly darker will just give me a bit more confidence to go out without makeup on because it makes the differences in my skin tone not as noticeable. So that's really positive for me. I didn't love the smell of the tan once it was on and it was developing. It smells really nice though. Um, Evan's always smelled like fish and chip shop, but 
I do not agree. This is literally the darkest I've ever been because I don't even tan this much, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, overall, I do really like the tan. Obviously, as I said, I have nothing to compare it to, but I would definitely be using it again. And hopefully next time it won't take quite so long because we'll know what we're doing. So my first impressions of Filter by Molly May are positive. I would definitely use the brand again. Like I would definitely buy more. Obviously, I've still got the rest of this tube to use um but i would definitely repurchase and i'm glad i went with medium first because for me this is really dark i think if i'd gone with a darker one it would have been a bit much and a bit sudden <laughs> maybe in the future when i'm more used to it i'll want to go darker who knows i'll try and find a picture to compare it with because stupidly i did not take a before picture but oh well we live and we learn but i'm really really impressed with the mitts so this mitt was practically black by the time we finished and literally just use, running it under the water and squeezing the water out it's literally pretty much back to new. I'm really really impressed with that. So these are obviously going to be really long lasting. The mini one we didn't use as much because it's only for the base so that one didn't get as tanned but it's really 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 clean however i do find this one a bit chunky for the face it's the one designed for the face but i still think it's a bit big and i think it's too big for like getting it in like around the nose and around my eyes and everything so i found it really difficult to get it even across my face but maybe it's just something that will take practice so i'll obviously try it again i know some people use a makeup brush so that might be worth trying as well it took us a while to apply i'm not gonna lie but it was our first time doing it so hopefully that'll only get a bit quicker as i do it more and more another thing i'm really impressed with i wore long sleeve top and trousers to bed because i was really worried about transfer of the tan to my bedding and I wore socks as well so I literally boiled last night but where the clothing was touching my skin there was literally no transfer of the tan at all so I would probably say it's safe to sleep without the long sleeves I'm not sure if I'd risk it just yet so overall I'm really impressed with the products that I've tried from Filter by Molly May and I would definitely recommend them and I would definitely be using them again that brings us to the end of today's video Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. If you've enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and subscribe for more. See you in the next one, bye!